Okay, so in our uh, various meditations, what tends to go wrong, as you might have noticed already, is that you uh, become very distracted or you fall asleep. So this happens to everybody, so it's not just you. Um, when we become distracted, we call this um, mental excitement or mental wandering. And when we're falling asleep, and the stage is kind of building up to being asleep, we call this mental thinking. So it's all about the mind, it's all mental. Uh, we're either getting mentally excited or mentally wandering or we're mentally thinking. So if you think about it, like if you imagine a, a baby holding a ball, this is like us holding our object of meditation. When we mentally wander, it's just like we drop the ball and we go off after something else mentally. We drop our object of meditation and we just wander off aimlessly after, you yeah, know, whatever. It's all sorts of things, isn't it? Mental excitement now is slightly different. This is when we, uh, maybe the baby drops the ball and goes for an ice cream or something. This is like when we uh, drop our object of meditation and we go off after some object of desire or object of attachment. So when we get attached to something, according to the Buddhist idea of attachment, um, it means that we view that uh, object, or it could be a person or a thing or a place, an experience, uh, we view it as mm, a source of happiness, it's happiness inducing somehow desirable, we wish for, we think it's going to make us happy. So this is mental excitement. You know, we go off after an object of attachment, mental wandering, we just go off after something or other. We don't particularly want it or feel that we need it in any way, it's just a kind of random, random thought. Okay, so in both of these cases, we're kind of away somewhere else, aren't we? Mentally. Uh, so what's needed is just that we come back and that we keep coming back. That we don't go away and stay away. <laughs> what can happen? We go off and we stay off for the whole duration of the meditation. And maybe then, you know, if you're being guided, I say, or somebody on a CD or something says, you know, and now we end the meditation, and uh, you've just realized that you haven't meditated at all, you've just been away uh, thinking about this, that, and the other. Mm. So if we notice that this is happening, and we notice it's happening quite early on, um, we can correct it quite quickly, and we just keep correcting it, we just keep coming back keep coming back, keep coming back. It's like, you know, training a puppy or something, you know. It wants to just go off and go crazy and you're just, like, gently but firmly, you know, bringing your mind back over and over and over again because you are uh, aware that it's beneficial for you to acquaint your mind with this particular um, positive thought or, or object. If you notice that it's excitement, mental excitement, you can just tell yourself, you know, actually, it's not going to make you happy, really. And if it does, it's not real happiness, it's like a fleeting pleasure, really. That's all we get from anything, really, isn't it? Some fleeting pleasure doesn't last very long and doesn't make us really happy deep down. So we can just think like this, we can just uh, remember, remember like the common sense which is saying actually, you know, that chocolate cake or that holiday or those shoes or, or whatever it is, 
it's not going to really solve all your problems yeah uh, and it's yeah thinking about it in meditation is definitely not going to make you happy <laughs> so uh, we just come back over and over and over we come back to our object of meditation now when we're uh, experiencing mental thinking it's similar we just try to notice it early on so normally we don't and normally we're fast asleep and again it gets to the end of the meditation and it's like oh yeah I'm supposed to be meditating and I just slept through the whole thing or we do one of those jolting things when we jolt forward and wake ourselves up hmm so again the key is to notice it early so it's like the baby is holding the ball and the grip is like slowly loosening as they slowly fall off to sleep yeah you see all those videos on youtube don't you babies <laughs> falling asleep or maybe that's just me because i don't have a tv <laughs> mm. I don't actually watch videos of babies falling asleep, by the way. <laughs> but I have seen uh, on occasion one or two. So it's like your your mind is is like the the grip on your object of meditation is slowly loosening, and then finally you've dropped it all together. You've completely forgotten what you were supposed to be meditating on, and you're you're just having a nap, basically. Problem with this is even though it's quite relaxing maybe and um, you know maybe if we're very tired we do need some sleep um, you know it feels quite nice um, but the thing is that we just need to be clear with ourselves that if we do this we're not meditating where if we if we continuously sit down to meditate and just fall asleep um, then we're like training ourselves basically to fall asleep <laughs> we're not training ourselves to meditate mm and we get into this habit and we start to feel like uh, you know our mind gets trained to think that every time we sit down and close our eyes and get comfortable then it's time to sleep so we don't want to um, get into that habit if we can if we can avoid it so a few things we can try with this um, and that's just to um, sit up really straight uh, if you get the posture just right very difficult um, to fall asleep in a good meditation posture. The back really, really straight, pelvis tilted forward. You want to be in a very bright space, well ventilated and cool. So I know it's ridiculously warm <laughs> in here today. It's not ideal uh, for meditating, but maybe in your uh, your when you're meditating in your own spaces at home you can just keep this in mind keep it nice and cool well ventilated nice and bright if you are sitting in your most comfortable chair wrapped in your most comfortable blanket with mood lighting going on uh, and especially at the end of the day you know you're just uh, setting it all up for a nice sleep basically so sitting up straight, keeping it nice and bright, well ventilated, and and also trying to meditate when we're well rested. Yeah, it's just all uh, practical, sensible tips that you could um, that, that that you know we can um, know, but it's just kind of implementing them is the thing. Okay, so we're we're up and off. And in that case, we're coming back. And if we're down and out, thinking and sleeping, and we're just trying to come back up again, bring ourselves back up again. Um, one thing we can do is just look upwards. Uh, you know, stop your meditation for a minute, look upwards. Um, especially if you're in a well uh, lit place, just using the light to bring yourself back up again, and then starting again, giving it a try again.